Let's have a quick look where people are moving. Standard TDM. Oh! People are, people are trying to... They've got the steelworks, uh, Jack's team have. No sleep. All in the steelworks. And it looks like EP are going to claim Butchers and Top Roof, which they have. Now, the problem with holding steelworks is, is you can get clips on that cover quite a bit if people have got marks. As, as you can see, Jack there trying to work it. But... Uh, What's the other team doing? Dominus got himself a Bushka. He's going for it. Off the water tower. No, that's not that's not bad, you know. He's oh, he can keep he keep working that. He'll get that kill. Ready with his snips. Cheeky position through the butcher's shop sign there. Here we go. He's going for it. No. No. Yeah. And you call us <laughs> the bandit bus has arrived. 1-1 one, one, and each kill, each kill got some good banter there. We can't wait to see the next 39. Okay. Uh, hmm. Just keeping steelworks. As you can see all the... Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Now they're pushing out, they're pushing out steelworks. Coming onto the roof. Jack's going to get a bit aggressive here. Marks the time. Took the shot. To, took, got checked by the snips. Spawn behind them apparently. Throughs. I think that's Dom is still working the body shop. No, no. That's a cog in it. That's Throughs in it, yeah. Surprise. Dom normally spends his entire game in there. And that's a nice double made in. As you can see, the bandit boss has arrived. One of the uh, definite comments of the uh, tournament so far is uh, the very camp banter of uh, Coded. See ya! And that's a nice double there. Top Top seems to be getting the kills for his team here at the moment. Two and one. No kill for uh, Domus. No kill for Reaction or Pred yet. Oh my days. This is how I'll get people angry. If uh, EP can establish a decent lead, then uh, this will really frustrate Jack and his team. And even if they lose a map, it's gonna someone's gonna get headbutt at some point. Yeah. <laughs> right. So they got bookshop and butchers and a bit of roof. Chrissy's pulling back now. as comes up. And they're just holding steelworks and body shop seems to be a consistent tactic of uh, no sleep. Oh, time to wear the boost get. Mm, I don't know. Here we go. Let's take a little quick look at the overhead. Classic street stalemate. Again, yeah, bookstore, butcher, bit of roof for uh, EP, and again, steelworks and body shop. This could work out better for uh, Jack's team because I think their plan is to collect uh, Torpo when they're the Bushka. Through's uh, showing that van who's boss. Yes. Godfather. Showing us why he's still one of the best. Let's see what Jack can uh, work with the Tebow here. Charging, he's got one shot for Redding. Redding's down there with the snips. There it is. Nice little there. Uh, I think this could be the next kill, like between these two, maybe. Right, so let's have another look. Uh, they've come out of Bookstore and Butchers and uh, got like the uh, the low side of Butchers and, and Bookstore still, but someone's been left on his own on Bookstore, and that is no doubt the Codfather. Where is he? The cheeky guy, there he is. On his Billy Bob. Yeah, Fruz is having a pop at someone. Thomas is running away full red. Here comes Jack. He's got the Bushka. He's gone for it, blindfire Bushka. Not quite. He's done it, that's not bad. That's unlucky. But you can't really expect much from the Bushka. It's a very unpredictable weapon. Sometimes it will kill you, sometimes it won't kill you. But that's just the classic inconsistency of Gears of War. Hence sponging and whatnot. And let's have a look at overhead. And yes, nothing's changed. Bookstore. 
bit of roof and there. Yes, Steelworks and Body Shop for Jack's team. Let's just uh, have a look how long it's been going. Five minutes and only nine kills collectively. Looks like this is going down to the timer. No, because of these kind of situations, the chances are that TDM might get dropped for this next event, um, if there is another event. But if it does come about and there's another event for the J, um, I don't think it'll be TDM. I think hopefully they'll tweak the execution uh, multiplayer download a bit and get that into the competitive but once again overhead and something going on by the water tower I think somebody's underneath Thomas taking a bit of damage yep Freeze has got him full red but he doesn't want to push that I'm gonna he's got the support he's on his own Domus with Codfather still occupying the roof no deaths for Chrissy, only person not to die in the game. What an absolute champ. Let's find him. Wor working the snips. Codfather still holding the water tower. Chrissy looking for a little angle on Domus in the uh, incense. Yeah, he's just behind that cover. There he is. Chrissy got a little look at him there. Let's have a look at this. There he is. No. Too quick for the pop. That's a nice nade through the window. A bit cheeky. I think that was from Jack. Yeah, that's a good shot. Chrissy, Chrissy drops uh, Jack. Tup Tup drops Froon. Trading the kill. Simple uh, first push play, and uh, they just traded a kill each. And and now they're going to be like, get back, get back. And yep, yeah, there they go. Now we wait again. A bit more progression from Jack's team, anyway. Um, I think they've got the uh, roof. Have they got the roof? No, they're underneath in the uh, little alleyway. He's backed out now. Domus is still in the alleyway. He's going to get spotted. He's going to have to move back. There we go. Going back. Codfather uh, working the uh, working the uh, water tower still. There isn't really much thing much to say here. It's a fairly steady game. In my personal opinion, the plays need to be made through uh, some, just some strong pushes and use yeah, you've got to take, got to use the boost. You've got to get a nice little push on and always keep in mind where the other team is so you can't get crossed or supported. That's a nice headshot by Redding and Jack's drop. Jack is Jack is losing. He's not losing the plot just yet, but he's getting a bit getting a bit aggressive. And that's a nice insin by Domus. Top top goes for a need. He's going for the push. He's just take a fat one. He's full red. He's dropped. Codfather with the flank. Codfather on the flank. Is he going to go up? No, he's not. He's going underneath. He's going to keep the flag. Oh, that's another headshot for Redding. He's definitely working that sniper. Jack gets a kill with the snipes and lets Chrissy know about it. Jack's getting pushed now. He's going to get pushed. He's going to get flanked. How is he going to work this? He's not. He's got a lancer and not a shotgun. He's got tucked up behind him for support. And EP is going to occupy bookstore again. With a bit of uh, steelworks, yeah, a bit of steelworks. Redding trying to work it. Chris is underneath. Nothing he can really do there. Roof control for uh, no sleep and butcher control. And they've got apparently someone's in steelworks as well. Jack is really trying to make, work the snipes. Codfather is inside steelworks. So, no sleep, we've got butchers in the roof, and it looks like he's going for something on that right hand side, there he is, going for the crate angle, Froon with the crate angle, let's see how he, see how he does, taking a bit of damage, that's another headshot for Red, it is working that sniper so hard, I think every kill has been a snipe so far, it's 4-1 and he's just, he's definitely working it, they have no answer for Redding at the moment. Redding got plenty of pre-game abuse from Jack as well about his haircut and whatnot. And uh, Redding said he wasn't bothered and he's uh, giving it back to Jack here. The time limit is 9 minutes and 22 seconds. So 15 minutes. The uh, rule applies that the leading team must have a 5 kill gap from the team who's losing. Um, if not, and we're going to have another ruthless camp sesh. Let's have a look at the overhead steelworks and body shop for 
basically what's happened now is EP are on their side of the map where Jack originally held Steelworks and Body Shop for No Sleep and and No Sleep have now got Butchers in their low side bookstore so I don't know who's got the better setup but um, EP might have definitely got the upper hand because they've got uh, Bushka spawn and the Torpo spawn. Got two snipers. Oh, yeah, they got two snipers over there. Redding's got it. Fruz has got it. Uh, Chrissy's got a mark, so I'm sure. I'm definitely going to try and work him from range. Spot grenade for Fruz. No vision for him there, unfortunately. But said you know they're not on the low side butchers, but they're inside butchers and uh, they've got bookstore. Very, very steady game. Very steady game. Well, at this rate, um, EP will win if they don't drop a kill, but they've got a good four and a half minutes to go. As long as you don't drop a kill, then they're sweet. Um, no sleep, we're going to have to get a kill. If they don't get a kill, then 15 minute time limit will come in and the rule will apply and they'll lose the map. I do hope they, um, they do know the rule. And a tactical uh, manoeuvre by Fruz. Um, a few people at home that don't know what he's trying to do is he's trying to claim a spawn to maybe potentially get a flank or something along those lines. But Fruz is uh, in the uh, Bushka. Vision on the roof. Tuttle's got a snipe. Codfather's getting a bit cheeky. Could get popped from across the side. If he throws that nade up, he could get popped. Whoa, sniper's not on it. Nice nade. He's going to get sniped. He's going to drop. There it is. They're inside five kills now. Now they're inside five kills. They can take it a little bit steady. They don't really need to make that play. But it would be nice if they could close that gap. And they're going to see... Uh, it's going to be a bit of a Redding versus Top Top here. Cheeky nade. Oh, here we go. Redding to work it. Not quite. Let's have a look. Move from Butcher Control for uh, No Sleep and EP are uh, claiming Steelworks and someone's on their own there inside the um, inside the alleyway. He's on the own, that's Fruz, getting cheeky, he's got a boost go, he needs vision. Can he... The guy on the stairs is the only guy realistically he can go for. He can't work it, that's a wonderful, wonderful boost go, he actually got him. That is actually a really nice boost go. We didn't quite see it, but we could see exactly where the two players were positioned. And it was pretty good. Must have been a decent shot. And if basically that kill has brought them back inside the five kill margin. Now they're back inside the five kill margin. If they can hold it out for, um, for I think it's uh, a minute and 20. Then it's going to be sweet. Two minutes even. Strong match with them. Two minutes, ten seconds left on the clock. And that's another headshot for Redding. I don't know if it was a snipe, but I'm just going to say it was. And he's working it. And now no sleep they, need, play. they need to make the play. They're not going to do it just yet. <laughs> but they're behind on the kills, and that is a shot. Jack probably should not have missed there. Needed nice kill pick up by Domus. Now they need to make the play. Jack realises this. He's going to make the mover. He's going to get in there, he's going to go for a nice little snipe. Work it. Ooh. Jack really just wanted. Nice work by Domus. Domus is working it. Jack's got a strong lancer angle. Domus goes out to Godfather, checks him. Got a five kill margin again, huh? Yeah, they're back on the five kill margin. Tuttle picks up the kill. Minutes away, Tuttle picks up. They're inside five kills now. So they're still in the game. They just need to not drop a kill in the next minute and ten, so. Hopefully uh, Jack can work it and maybe get a uh, snips. He's got nothing on Redding at the moment though. He's definitely working that snipe so strong. But they've got Bookstore and Butchers and he basically rotated again. So I'm going to guess that No Sleep obviously occupy the Steelworks and the, the Body Shop. Yeah, it's always the same standard setup both times. By both teams. Hey. Yeah. So 15 seconds into the last minute. And they're still inside five kills, so they're fine at the moment. But I think, I think this is going to uh, go over 15. No, they have to be five kills ahead. 
Jack needs confirmation on the uh, confirmation of the uh, rules that are applied there. He's just found out now, so he now knows. He now knows if they get one more kill and it's in the next 20 seconds, they will lose the game. Jack's having a bit of complaints about the uh, the new rule that's been applied. Uh, he's not too happy about um, the fact that his team may lose uh, streets. Cruz is uh, getting boosted by Domus. Domus is having a nice little chill there and body shot. Yeah, yeah fair enough. And that's it, we've gone into the 15 minute mark. So one kill for EP and they'll win the game. Jack's team needs to, no sleep needs to just keep pushing at them if he can get get inside the kills. They need, yeah, they need nine kills to win. It has to be a five kill gap between both teams before the game can end. Or if it goes all the way to 40, then whoever wins. But one kill for EP and it's a GG. Chris is going to try and work it. Mm. Not got much on him there. Preds uh, taking it easy. He does not want to get popped. Top top. Nearly got clapped by Red in there. He understands that he could have lost the uh, map for his team there. But Fru's uh, coming down into Winsons. Now it's a tricky situation, this, because he are four kills ahead and he need one kill to win, but. If EP start dropping a couple of kills, then it's going to be quite devastating for uh, for EP. And EP have no vision at the moment. We need some spots. Looks like we're in for a wait for this map then. Looks like we're. It's going to be a long one. This. Let's see if someone can work it. On the movement, Domus is uh, down low. He's Mike. Get isolated as of yet. Yep, Redding's having a little uh, glance over there. Now they've got the steelworks and the body shop, the uh, initial setup that started off the uh, the map, and EP are gradually moving on to. Uh, oh, someone's getting a bit cheeky up there on the roof. That's Froon who's underneath, not the roof. My apologies. Now, Pred, it's really, really steady play. Nobody wants to lose this this map. EP are going to have to try and make the play because no sleep will stay back as long as it needs. But EP need the kill. Lots of snipers and marks on the go. Lots and lots of ranged weapons. Just to remind you, this is the first map. Looks like we are in for a long night. It's best of five as well, so, I mean, if every TDM ends up uh, knocking back a good 20 minutes, then... And this is loser bracket semi-final? I think so. I mean, it's got to be a little bit boring for you guys at home. I mean, I don't know, is this tense for you? Is this, uh, is this exciting? One kill in it? Top Top had an opportunity to work it there, but I don't think he wanted to try it. Chris, he's still got a snipe. Neither team willing to take a risk. Yeah, one person needs to take a risk. It can't, it, Jack will understand, plenty of experience, that it can't be from his end. They can't push. They can't do anything about it. Now, Redding has moved down on the right-hand side. He's, he's in front of uh, the body shop on the low side. Thomas has got a Bushka. I guess this is uh, Domus's designated position. There seems to be some sort of nades, maybe some cheeky pushes from somewhere. Let's have a look at the overhead. They're slowly, slowly moving up the map into uh, Steelworks and claiming that uh, roof, water tower, two people outside a bookstore, and uh, I think uh, there's going to be a recycle on the, uh, on the snipe. So another snipe is going to come into the game in a second. Very, very steady. Fruz has opted not to go for the uh, to go for the snips. 
The game, the game keeps going until there's, it keeps going. There's no end. Jack still needs a little bit more uh, of an understanding of the rules, of the new rules that got applied at, at this event. And for anyone who just saw that, that was an incident that came out of his shotgun. Wonderful animation there. Fantastic animation. Thomas has been spotted inside the body shop. Oh, and it, it happened again. The insane came out of the Lancer again. I think that's right. Again. <laughs> Is that, I think that might be Redden from down low. Chrissy trying to work the snipe. He's got an angle on there. Codfarm's got an angle on Jack. He stayed there and took it. If there was one more person who could have got the support angle on that, or even if uh, Codfarm had a sniper, that would have been a GG. I think Tupper does have a sniper. I think he missed. Mm. No, he had a pistol. He has a pistol and a Lancer, I'm sure. A pistol and shotgun, yeah. Just any other support weapon would have been good there. Redding's taking a, gonna take some damage here. He's getting out nicely played. Redding again is gonna try and work Domus. Snipers and everywhere. we've broken the 20 minute mark and it's still the same. I would like to see I'd like to see No Sleep get another kill. I'd like them to get a couple of kills, but again, even if they do get a kill, they're just going to retreat, they're getting back, and there will only be like three kills inside of the five kill margin. Maybe with a one kill cushion, they might not be as cautious though. Aye. Jack might be willing to make some plays. Seven up with the snipe. Not much he can really do, because he has no vision. He can't see a single player. I think he knows where Codfather is. Fruz and Chrissy are making a bit of a play down bottom. Um, On the instant it's a bit of a cheeky one. Yeah, they are pushing into the steelworks. And it just came out of his Lancer again. Fruz is definitely hacking the game. Oh, took some damage. Let's have a look at the uh, overhead and you guessed it, Steelworks and Body Shop occupied by No Sleep and Roof and Bookstore for EP. They tried to make the play, they did progress up into the incidents to try and make something happen and nothing really came from it and they've gone back to Bookstore, Butchers and Roof occupation now and this must be a boring game for Pred because he's been on the, the same spot for about 10 minutes now. He just, he just wants to keep his head. So we got Predator having a conversation with Jimmy B. Expect and very. There's a nice headshot by Tutso. We didn't see it, but he finally worked it. Codfather drops, and they're inside the five kills with three between them now. Two kills needed for EP to win the map. If they don't get the two kills, uh, Jack's team, as uh, no sleep, can probably claw the way back up. If they can get the kills on even, then again, they'd have to break. Uh, oh! And Jack, Jack picks up the Torbo. I was. Seen it from the start. EP are pushing the Booska. EP are going into the Booska. They're going to claim it. Jack's there. Nades are going in. Here we go. A bit of initiation. What are we going to see? Jack's taking a bit of damage. One kill for EP and it's a win. He's trying to work it. Codfather's got the angle on the guys of Steelworks. Jack's getting pushed ruthlessly. He's on the run. Will he get isolated? He's not going to get isolated. He's going to drop. Pred took the kill. That was massive play by Pred. That was the best possible thing that could have happened in that situation. And he that was clever, clever play by Steez on the ball. Kept his team in the mark with that team kill. Wonderful. And they're going back for butch occupation. There's somebody on the incens. They're pushing out now. It looks like they're making a play on the book on the bookstore. They're going into butchers. All four there. Somebody's on their own at Steelworks and thinks there's people still in the uh, body shop. Got no sleep now. There's not enough vision. I know. Did somebody need some spots or something to at least get? It's an easy way to get players isolated if they've got vision on them, but no vision. Nobody's died in about ten minutes. Exactly. Everyone's out of ammo. Now look at this. No sleep of occupied Steelworks and the bookstore. They've gotten a little bit all up in the face. I'm still. Really, really impressed with that play by by Pred. By Pred. It was really, really clever. Like really quick thinking. He was on it. We got a Jack picking up a kill on Chrissy there. Jack Latinair. 
Chris, you know, I didn't, I didn't even see that. Did he get a kill then? Yeah, took his head off. That's a nice play. Back inside the free kill margin when they, when they could have almost lost the game a moment Fru ago. Fru was isolated in the Bushka, but I think he might have it. Back kitchen. Butchers. I believe that's Butchers. That is Butchers. What's this? Oh, that's a bit cheeky. He's had a go. Anyone up there that he can really take? No. His bookstore still works for uh, no sleep and uh, I'm getting tired. And this is only the first map, everybody. Oh, uh, yes. So, still within the free kill margin. And through drop spread, that's one more kill needed. Is that one more kill yep. needed? One kill for EP, and they take the map. Yep, one more kill. Here we go. I don't know, I've got a sneaking suspicion the Redding's gonna work it again. Oh, he spots Pred inside. He's gotta go for it. Oh, that could have been the headshot of the decade. Because he would have ended this depressing map. Here we go. He's working it. There's something going on inside. Come for drop through, drop game, over. game yeah. over. EP gets the five kill margin and win. Giving it loads. And win the map. Well played. Oh Coded. Definitely let alone know that they were the winners there.